Cain and Abel is a password recovery tool for Microsoft operating systems. It allows easy recovery of various kinds of passwords by sniffing the network, cracking encrypted passwords using dictionary, brute force, and cryptanalysis attacks, recording VOIP conversations, decoding scrambled passwords, recovering wireless network keys, revealing password boxes, uncovering cached passwords, and analyzing routing protocols. The program does not exploit any software vulnerabilities or bugs that could not be fixed with little effort. It covers some security aspects and weaknesses present in protocol standards, authentication methods, and caching mechanisms. But its main purpose is the simplified recovery of passwords and credentials from various sources. However, it also ships some non-standard utilities for Microsoft Windows users. So let's see how we can recover, or another word for saying, crack Windows NTLM hashes with Kane Enable. Kane Enable works on Windows platforms, so let's download it and install it on a Windows platform. I'm going to use my Windows 8 VM for this purpose. So open an internet browser and search for Kane Able Download. Now the first link is oxid.it, which is a developer company of the tool, so click on it. The first link is for version 2 of the tool, which is not supported anymore. And the second link is for version 4.9.56. So let's click on the second link and download the setup file. When the download finishes, click on it to start the installation. The installation wizard starts. It's a next finish process. You can install the tool with the default configurations just by clicking the next buttons until you see the finish button. Oops, Windows Defender thinks that Kane Enable is potentially harmful. Who would have guessed? So this is just because that it's a password cracking tool. Um, so what I'll do is I'll go to Windows Defender by clicking on the message, click Show Details, and from the combo box, choose Allow, and click Apply Actions. So now we can keep going. Now it asks to install WinPCAP to analyze network files. Now we don't need it for now, so it doesn't matter whether you install it or not. Now we have a shortcut for Kane on the desktop. We can simply double-click it to start the tool. Now that we're ready, the first step is to import the hash file to crack. So we are the cracker tab now. As you see, Kane has a lot of crackers. We'll use the first one, LM and NTLM hash cracker. Select LM and NTLM hashes on the tree at the left-hand side of the tool. Then click the plus icon in the toolbar menu. The add NT hashes from window appears and select import hashes from a text file. Well, it looks like someone needs a hash file. 